Welcome back. Allergy season is in full bloom across the D.C. region, and all that sneezing and coughing may have you confused. I know it has me very confused over whether it's just standard allergies or maybe symptoms of the coronavirus. Dr. Linda Yao with Fox Hall Internist joining us now live with more and a very timely interview. Good morning to you. Hope you're keeping well. Good morning. Thank you so much for having me on your show. Absolutely. Okay, so break it down because I think with every, every sneeze, every cough, I know for one, I'm thinking, oh my goodness, should I be more concerned about this or is this just my regular allergies acting up? Right. Actually, it's really good to review that. Um, with allergies, it, it's much more itchy eyes and runny nose, which are not symptoms of COVID-19. So I think people need to keep that in mind uh, because, you know, I think this area does have a lot of green space right. and a lot of trees and blooming flowers, and that can lead to a lot of this issue with itching. So itching is not a sign of COVID, so that's important to keep in mind. Okay, but you know, a lot of us also cough. And I know that that is one of the symptoms associated with COVID-19, a cough. Um, maybe, you know, you, you've got shortness of breath. I mean, those are also things that come into play that might make you a little more suspicious or a little more concerned. Talk about that a bit. Yes, that is important. Um, what people are describing with COVID-19 is that it's a much worse cough and it's also um, much more uh, uh, issues with chest tightness, maybe a chest burning um, and much uh, more severe shortness of breath. So if people have always lived in DC and they know what their baseline allergy symptoms are with a, a slight cough or a slight trouble breathing, then one should try to compare that to your previous experience. So if you if you do have an, and an, you know, you do see an allergy doctor, what should you go back this year? Is it important or maybe not inundate them with all this uh, new patients as we're, you know, the doctors already have so much to grapple with. Would you recommend talking to your doctor again, seeing your doctor again this year, just to make sure? Yes, actually, um, I think most primary care physicians would rather you call them like I know in our office, we're encouraging people to call with any symptoms that they might be concerned with. Um, I think it's important for people to know that there's a lot of telemedicine going on right mm -hmm. now. Um, you know, sort of like what we're doing here on TV. Uh, we can do that from our office now. Um, so uh, people don't need to be afraid of contacting us. I think we'd rather people contact us um, sooner rather than later to talk over symptoms. Also, another important thing to know about is that fever is not a symptom of allergies, right. and it's one of the prominent symptoms of COVID-19. So anytime pe people feel like a flu-like illness with fever, mm -hmm. muscle aches, cough, shortness of breath, and also sore throat, those are the five prominent symptoms of COVID-19, they should always call their doctor. Dr. Linda Yao, thank you so much for that. I think you've definitely put a lot of mind at ease this morning, but uh, letting us know, call your doctor if you're concerned. We appreciate your time this morning. Thank you so much for having me. Absolutely.